Princess Cruises Overseas Television welcomes you to the Princess Channel. Welcome aboard. You are sailing on one of the newest, largest, and most sophisticated cruise ships in the world, the highly acclaimed Grand Class of Princess Cruises. Whether you are traveling on Grand Princess, Golden Princess, or Star Princess, you are on board one of the most innovative and technologically advanced ships in the world, offering you the luxury of space, but with the intimacy and feel of a much smaller ship. Grand class ships have been carefully designed to give you the most enjoyable, entertaining, and carefree vacation possible. However, there is much more to a grand class ship than the staterooms, restaurants, and various public spaces which have been created for your cruising comfort. There are areas which passengers rarely have the opportunity to see while on board. We now invite you to come experience what goes on behind the scenes aboard your ship. This is the bridge of a grand class ship. At 159 feet wide, it is the largest enclosed bridge of any cruise ship afloat. Manned 24 hours a day, the bridge is the command and control center of the ship. The most modern electronic navigational equipment is employed here to ensure our passengers have the smoothest and safest voyage possible. The equipment on board a Grand Class ship is part of a new generation of computerized navigational devices known as the Integrated Bridge System. Before every cruise, the ship's navigator will plot the various courses required to reach the different ports of call that the ship will visit. He then enters these into a computer, which translates them into a digital format that can be used by the other navigational devices on the bridge. Once the information has been entered, the voyage can begin. Using the navigational control console, the officers on the bridge can monitor all of the various aspects of the ship's systems necessary to maneuver. Various devices control the ship's propeller speed, rudders, and the bow and stern thrusters. These thrusters are variable pitch propellers located at the bow and stern of the ship. By applying power to these thrusters, the ship can be maneuvered very adroitly to enter or leave a berth. The ship is usually maneuvered onto or off a berth from the bridge wing control consoles. When controlling the ship from these remote consoles, the ship's captain has the same control and maneuvering information on the video screens as in the central control position. The designers of the Grand Class ships had to extend the bridge wings by 18 feet to allow a clear view of the entire ship's side. The bridge wing control console also has a joystick control which articulates the various combined movements of the main propellers, twin rudders, and six side thrusters. This allows the ship to be effectively maneuvered by a single control. The joystick allows the ship to be moved sideways in winds of up to 30 knots. The bridge wing consoles also have individual controls for the various maneuvering functions, including a control system for the radars and electronic mapping system. Once maneuvered from her berth, the ship is controlled by the main steering console on the bridge. The ship's wheel is no longer the huge wooden spoked kind, but is actually much smaller than that of an average motor car. This wheel controls the ship's rudders. The speed of the propellers is controlled by a telegraph system on the main console. This is the basic system used to control the ship when coming up to speed or when maneuvering in traffic. When clear of the main harbor and any traffic lanes or navigational hazards, the main control of the ship is delegated to the computerized autopilot and navigational system. This optimizes the trim and efficiency of the ship. 
a navigation system utilizes global satellite positioning, which gives the ship's position to an accuracy of five feet anywhere in the world. The radar system is constantly monitored to detect any potential hazard that may need attention. Just behind the main bridge room is the safety center. This is where all safety systems on board a Grand Class ship are monitored and controlled. Every space aboard has a smoke, heat, or flame detector. The passenger cabins and public areas, as well as the majority of crew areas, have sprinkler systems as well, which are automatically activated in case of a fire. The safety center is immediately alerted in the case of such activation, and steps can be taken to control the situation. Fire retardant doors can be activated to contain any such emergency, while specially trained crews are dispatched to assess and deal with the problem. The safety center is also the command and control area for the splash and watertight doors. These can be closed to control any flooding in the unlikely event of damage to the hull. By computer, telegraph, and phone, the bridge is in constant communication with the engine control room, the central nervous system of the ship. Here, every system on board can be monitored and controlled. The complete electrical systems, the freshwater evaporators, the generators, all of the refrigeration and air conditioning systems, as well as a redundant monitoring of the fire alert and suppression systems. In usual cruising conditions, the control of the diesel engines is given to the bridge, while the power management system is monitored by the engine control room to ensure efficient utilization of electric power. A Grand Class ship's massive engines are located in the aft end of the ship on deck one. The main power plant consists of six huge turbocharged 16-cylinder medium-speed diesel engines which have combined generating capacity of over 69 megawatts. Each engine runs at a constant speed of 514 RPM and weighs over 175 tons. Electrical power generated by these engines is transmitted to the ship's switchboards. These panels power the ship's main propulsion systems and all the other machinery needed to keep the ship running smoothly. Fuel for the ship's diesel engines in the form of heavy oil is usually loaded aboard in one of our major ports. Once on board, the oil is subjected to a series of tests to ensure quality. In the fuel and lubrication oil purification room, purifiers remove water and impurities. From here, the fuel is passed through a series of heaters to raise its temperature to over 275 degrees Fahrenheit for use in the main engines. On an average seven-day cruise, a Grand Class ship will consume 250 tons of fuel oil a day. This is one of the thruster rooms. These large green boxes contain an electric drive motor for one of the thrusters. There are three bow thrusters and three stern thrusters. Each bow thruster requires a 6,600 volt, 2,200 kilowatt electric motor, while the stern thrusters require a 1,720 kilowatt electric motor to drive them. We are now in one of the stabilizer rooms, located amidships on deck one. A Grand Class ship is equipped with two stabilizers, one on each side of the ship, which are extended by hydraulic systems. Stabilizers are huge fins that extend outward from a midship. Acting like underwater wings and using computerized gyroscopes, the stabilizers control the rolling motion of the ship in high seas. This is the centralized air conditioning and refrigeration plant. Here in these units, fresh water is chilled, then pumped up to one of the 89 air handling units located throughout the ship, which then cool the air that is distributed to all passenger accommodations, public rooms, and crew areas.
You may wonder where all the fresh water the ship consumes each day comes from. A Grand Class ship is equipped with three huge water evaporator units, which can produce a total of 2,200 tons of fresh water a day. Water is taken directly from the sea, which is then heated in these units to 172 degrees Fahrenheit and converted to fresh water. This water is then treated and sterilized before being used for domestic purposes. Up to 42 megawatts of the power generated by the engines is used to operate the two main 21 megawatt electrical propulsion motors. This is the propulsion shaft from one of the propulsion motors. It is 450 millimeters in diameter and has a normal output revolution speed of 150 RPM. Each shaft is in turn connected to one of the ship's six bladed 5.2 meters in diameter fixed pitch propellers. The maximum cruising speed is 22 and a half knots, allowing a grand class ship to easily sail over 500 nautical miles in a 24 hour day. We hope you've enjoyed this look into the behind the scenes operations aboard your grand class ship. Your comfort, safety, and enjoyment are most important to us at Princess Cruises. All of our dedicated officers and crew are working around the clock, behind the scenes, keeping this great ship running smoothly so that your Princess Cruise is truly memorable. Thank you for watching and enjoy your cruise.